quiet day, city doing, looks like they're doing some maintenance, lots of parking. But come on in, Wonder and Whimsy. Here on the left is Wyann. This piece is called Don't Be a Chicken Ship. It has a lot to do with her story on dealing with cancer. And flanked on both sides of this piece is a guest artist with us this month, Olivia Bonilla. Olivia is currently out of Charleston, but um, originally from Connecticut. She's young, really promising artist. Um, her work, this current body of work, she's also a painter, but this current body of work, which pays homage to pop culture when she was growing up, she's 27, so in the 90s, um, to different cartoons and, and movies and palettes and all that. Um, these. This body work is created out of cement. So that is her Mega Gummy series uh, there and another Cupcake series, which we just love for Wonder and Whimsy. And thank you, Stephanie Costin, for balloons from Art Walk. We cannot believe that these balloons are still around from, gosh, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago now, first Friday. Um, and then on this side is another two YN pieces. And she here is flanked by David Goldhagen vessels, glass. Let's see if we get a good shot of the gallery from outside. For those of you from afar, and we'll see. We do have a space next door and upstairs available. It's a great location on the square. It was a restaurant, it was the Vineyard Cafe. If you know of anybody, have them come be a great neighbor for us. very quiet so let's go inside and here is another YN piece flanked again on both sides by Olivia's mega gummies we just love them and we have another Laura Kurtz piece Jeff Surace here is the sole remaining Linthea Edwards piece, who is a new artist with us, and um, she is all the rage right now. There's um, a documentary being filmed on her story. She currently is in Birmingham. And um, all of our artists, all the work in the gallery and their statements is on our website, dkgallery.us. So please do check that out. You can read all about the artists and their backgrounds, their bios. Um, here is a Lauren Pelota Stumberg piece. Um, Lauren is also a mural artist. You'll see her mural on the back of DK Gallery, as well as you'll see a lot of Lauren's iconic imagery all throughout Atlanta. She um, has done many murals, and she also, um, you'll see her, her identity and her brand and her voice on um, utility boxes, park benches um, all throughout Atlanta. She is a strong leader in the Atlanta arts community. And she was here with her, she has two, two beautiful children. She was here at our opening. And um, again, here's a Olivia piece. Love this one. This one is called Mouthful. And it's fun to take a look all the way around. Again, these are cement. Over here, you're going to see these are fused glass pieces from Karen Schwarzer, lives here in Atlanta. And then collection of smalls from Laura Kurtz to Dirk Walker's Georgia Bulldog, Claire Dunaway's Rabbit, and Laura's small cityscape piece there. She, we're really enjoying Laura's um, new cityscape collection. Um, how fun, right? And the color, the palette, the energy. She just, Laura loves shapes and um, putting patterns together. This piece is called, and we posted this the other day when the whole coronavirus started um, becoming dominant here in Atlanta. And this piece is called It Takes a Village. And this one, 
another another good one for our, the times that we're in is City Escape. But such a strong, beautiful piece and palette. We have Julia Burns, what we're, she calls these, I guess, her boobies. So they're fun, again, wonder and whimsical. Great little um, piece of art for almost anywhere. We've heard they're being used for makeup brushes, toothbrushes, wine cups, coffee, functional as well. Uh, Laura also was in Africa, I think it's about two years ago now, and was very inspired by the wildlife there and the safaris that she went on. And you'll see that reflected in, again, patterns within the, her, her, some of her new work. This is an encaustic piece of Laura's with the cityscape. And then we'll move on to Shelly Crisp and her mysterious, beautiful women that she creates. And they're just her, they're just her ladies, her women. And what's so intriguing about them is they can be anything to anybody. We've heard all sorts of different feelings about what they are and who they are and why they are through the years, but they're just Shelly's ladies. And these are mixed media, mixed media pieces. We are fortunate to have another new artist with us, Heather Gauthier. And we sold her pieces that we've had already. Um, so we've supplemented and in introducing her with um, her reproduction pieces that we offer in a very limited supply. Um, but these are coasters and plates that are reproductions of originals that she's done through the years and again perfect for wonder and whimsy um, behind that you'll see some another new artist with us maria bruckman and we've known maria for a long time she um, is originally from russia and um, has worked in the art world for a long time and recently started studying under kevin chambers one of our sculptors and has created this body of work in porcelain, which we think is just, is just so beautiful and elegant and um, very accessible and affordable. And over here by our desk is a Ginger Oglesby 36 by 36. This is called Ribbons of Curiosity. Beautiful, uplifting, happy piece with a Katie Radney. Beautiful floor. We love when Katie does floral. She's Katie's no more for her figurative work, um, but her florals are spectacular. Um, just to let everybody know, we do offer all sorts of um, note cards. Just again, when you come in, a quick, easy pick me up that goes with. Um, or easy to get for just that special someone. And here's some Heather Blanton paper pieces. She does the sports figurative work. These are paper. Um, and she does lots of large scale pieces on canvas as well. Another Lauren Pelota piece, this one is called Party Time. And then we have our darling of DK Gallery, Harley Irwin. With this is her piece titled 1966. And another uh, Laura Kurtz piece we also knew for Laura are her dress, the dress series. Um, this one is called Girls Just Want to Have Fun, 30 by 30, encaustic. Um, here we just have some, um, this is Carlene McConnell, um, landscape on paper. Um, Jeff and Laura Surrey, so a couple that are with us. This is um, Laura, it's a Laura piece here. And another Carleen, new piece, Carleen visited us um, last week. Holly Irwin, beautiful 1999. And another Laura Kurtz dress piece, the delicate side. And Ginger Oglesby again there on paper. What, um, just, just for everybody to know that, you know, what's important about the gallery is that we want everybody that steps foot into this gallery or knows about the gallery to be able to afford something. Um, 
just to have the joy of art, to be able to, if there's an artist in particular that you really like, just to be able to, whether it's a paper piece, a small piece. Um, so this bin here, which is our paper files, is full of small things um, on paper, and again, just very affordable. Um, so please know that. Here's Holly Irwin is always creating works on paper. And the Ginger Oglesby piece behind her. Um, Connie Carletta Sales, beautiful work. Um, believe it or not, these are digital works on paper. Um, Connie has challenges of paralysis and has been very fortunate to have Microsoft create some adaptive technology for her. And we couldn't be more excited for her just to see the, the caliber of work that she's still able to create and um, so honored to have her with us. Lauren Pelota Stumberg, Wyann, and Ginger. And here's another exciting piece by Lauren called Electrified Spirit. And... This is so fun to us. So here's three very different artists, but how well do they hang together, right? So Adam Thomas, who lives in Chicago, Jessica Eichmann in Nashville, next to another Nashville artist, Jennifer Gibbs. And you would think that that right there was coordinated or collaborated from a while ago, but look how beautiful that works together. And so we think the all of DK Gallery is that there's just something very special about each and every artist that allows this as a whole to be something so very spectacular and special. So I know this has taken a little bit of time, but just wanted to have a good um, representation of the show and just thinking and praying for everyone in these challenging times. But again, there's always the silver lining that comes about and we will so look forward to sharing the joy of our artists with you as we go about. Y'all have a great day and happy St. Patty's Day.